Got a nice pretty coyote here. This old badger hole. Yeah? Yeah, sorry. So anyways, uh, we're gonna make some coyote pudding today. Um, let's go ahead and get this beautiful coyote put down and- All right, you guys pulling traps today and um, I want to go ahead and uh, tell the story on the canine pudding. So y'all remember the the Nita turd but it started right around then. Mm -hmm. I was collecting a lot of wolf crap and a lot of coyote crap um, all summer long and um, and then I was freezing it and um, so anyways then I got the thinking about adding urine to it and then glycerin so it don't freeze and it always looks fresh and all of that and so I called the old government trapper that I knew and uh, talked to him about it and I said hey I said this is my idea and, and he's he's his, he's a lure maker too and and he goes where did you read that and I said well I didn't read it I said I just got thinking about it and, and he goes man that's an old wolfer trick he said uh, so he goes yeah you um, you're on the right track um, he said add um, sodium benzoate to it and then that way it doesn't um, it doesn't uh, mold and all of that stuff so it kind of um, cures it so so anyways that is the story of a canine pudding um, so anyways uh, let's get into it let's go uh, make some canine pudding huh? hey guys when you start catching your kits and your two-year-olds you better pull so you got one two-year-old there um, one, two, three, four kits there. Way more than I wanted to catch. All right, let's go pick up some turds here. Um, this is right by the highway. Um, I got the permit to trap the state ground. Look at that right there. Coyotes marking. Coyotes are marking. So, Rick, come here. And uh, we're going to pick them turds up. Look at that, there's another one right there. So, we're gonna go ahead and grab these turds and make some coyote pudding. All right, you guys, this is what I'm doing. That's one wolf turd right there. Here is the coyote turds I picked up off of the highway, along the highway. They go in there. So that's Four piles of coyote turds. We got one wolf. All right. So now we're going to go ahead. I got some fox in here. We got some fox crap. We're going to put some fox in there. Yo, nice. So, so you want to be a lure maker. You want to be a bait maker. Yeah, nice. So we're putting fox crap in there now. There we go. All right, so fox crap is in there. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a coyote glands. This is anal gland right here. It's aged seven days. It's not gonna take much. It's gonna take about that much right there. I'm gonna throw that in there. All right. The sodium benzoate. Put that much there which is probably gonna be, by the time I'm done, about two pints right there. About that much has been working fine for me. Not much sodium benzoate. Fox urine, really good homegrown fox urine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put glycerin in it. Right on. And then we get the mashing. Mix it all together. And that's how you make canine pudding. It's just that easy. I can't I can't keep it on my shelf, you guys. Um, this stuff here will not be for sale. Um, this will be for my wolf trap line. And that's it. So, let's 
Start picking up your turds, man. If you guys live in Wisconsin and you're seeing all that wolf crack crap all over the place, man, I'll buy that off you. Seriously, I'll buy it fresh. If you go ahead and keep it in the freezer and keep it fresh and I want it fresh and black, I will buy it off you. So, um, there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Canine pudding. So the, what makes this what makes this nice now is it's got a completely different smell than a single turd. You got a lot of anal gland in there. This glycerin keeps it from freezing and always looks fresh. Put a little bit more glycerin in there. Not just dump it all in there. Um, it's not going to freeze, and it keeps it fresh all the time. So, and then the. Sodium benzoate preserves it. Um, and there we go. We got canine pudding. Now, that is some amazing. That stuff right there is absolutely amazing for coyote wolf trapping. That you can't beat right there, you guys. All right. Some of my friends are going to say, man, you're crazy for showing people that. But for one, it's not mine. I didn't come up with it. Two, we got to start working together, you guys, and helping each other out. Um, yeah, I do this for a living. Um, I, I make money at what I do and trapping and all that, but it's not always about money. So, um, so anyways, hope you guys understand how I make canine pudding. It's out there now. It's all yours.